good morning. So today is December 2nd. We just finished our Proverbs series. And now I am reading from this book I got off Amazon. It's called Be Still and Know. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Be Still and Know. And so it's a daily devotional. Um, we're going to read this. Um, this between this and then like Jesus Always is another one I do. Let me get that right here. So this is the other one that I do. So I kind of see which one is like speaks to my heart. And then I'll talk about that. You know, I'm not going to do both at the same time, but I can flip flop between those two usually. And then January 1st, oh, this book is going to be so exciting. I am so excited for this. So January 1st, we're going to start this book right here. It's like 365 days of kindness. Oh, I love being kind. Be kind, be kind. It's so important. Um, so today, like I said, we're doing Be Still and Know, and it's a very good one. It's really, really good. So let me get into this real quick here. It says, Escape from Battle. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. That's 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Maybe you wrestle with anger or greed. Perhaps struggle is with pride or vanity. It could be that you find it difficult to be honest or kind. Whatever your battle, you, you do the... Whatever you battle, you don't battle alone. We all have struggles, but God will allow us to struggle, but God will not allow us to struggle with something too big to conquer. We can be confident in every battle, in every struggle, in every temptation. God will give us a way out. So true. An escape plan is ready. When we face temptation, we can ask God for his help. He is faithful. He will answer our cry. And it says, God, help me with the battles I am facing today. I know that you will rescue me and strengthen me. So you can read that out loud. The God, help me with my battles I am facing today. I know that you will rescue me and strengthen me. Okay, so let's talk about battles, right? Because I battle like all day long. Let's see what I do. Um, and so... One of the things I'm going to talk about is uh, my whole life, I've always been looking for the easy way out with money. Like, you know, like side hustles, all this stuff, you know what I mean? And so I'm always, it always has been a thing, this money thing, like to um, take a shortcut to try and make money or whatever. And so now when something comes up, like something just came up the other day, yesterday, and the right answer would have been, no, that did not happen. But here's me trying to find a way to finagle, finagle, right? Finagle how to get more money out of the situation. I'm like, why? Why is that even still in me? Like, why, you know? And I really had, I mean, I corrected the situation because the first answer was wrong, straight up wrong. And I had to correct the situation. <laughs> um, but... We're so used to our old ways. We're so used to that, like, that go-getter money attitude. That's what I had, you know. And there's positive ways to do that, you know what I mean? Um, but it's like God used to correct me on that. He, he did. And I think this one was a test where you need to correct yourself because that was the wrong answer. Um, because there's no shortcuts with God. There isn't. There's no shortcuts with God. There really isn't. And when you realize that and you put God in everything you do, he's going to correct you or you're going to get corrected. Something's going to correct because it got corrected on me yesterday. And I, and I knew right away as soon as I hung up the phone with this person, I was like, I got to call back. Wait on, waited for an hour. Okay, waited for an, almost an hour. It was like 45 minutes or whatever. Like 30 to 45 minutes I waited. And, um... I was just like, you know, wow, like, I have to correct this. I, I have to do this. And so God will, you know, the thing is, is God will get you a way to escape it, the temptation. So 
do not fall into t temptation. Um, you know, pride, pride's a big one. Vanity, thinking you're better than everybody else, that's another one. You got to watch out for that. Um, so there is temptation. You are going to be tempted. But here's the cool thing, right? I'm going to give you a little insight. Now, when you feel like, when, you, when something's going on in your life, right? Let's just say uh, you feel guilty about it or you feel these crazy thoughts going on in your head, right? That means the devil is trying to put these crazy thoughts in your head and that you are God's child because when you're running with the devil, you don't get the crazy thoughts. You do not get the crazy thoughts, do you? No, you don't because you're, why would the devil have to mess with you? Because you're his, right? So just think about that. Okay, I love you. Have a blessed day.